Number we'll see how these two teams play in this game as they prepare for the opening kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Louisville staff and their fans have heard all week long their quarterback's going to play terribly on the road. I think their staff's got them ready to prove them wrong right now. I think this staff really has rallied this entire team around some of that negative talk. And I think they believe in their guy that he can go on the road and make the plays and lead them to a big victory. Uh, you know, sometimes when you hit some adversity like that, you see teams circle the wagons. And I, and I really believe this week they've done a great job of doing that. Now they just have to go out and execute the plan and go out and win this game. From their own 49-yard line, first down. Three down, three down. Three down. Three down. And now he's got room to run. They get about four on that keeper. That makes it second and six. the stop the 33 yard line there was good pressure coming in but he stood his ground and found his teammate for a nice game from the 33 yard line first down and he's tackled at the 23 what impresses me so much is the guy's vision he read the coverage perfectly to find his man for good yardage And he's taken down around the 14-yard line. Call it a gain of nine, nine yards. yards. First, first down. down. From the 14-yard line, it's first down. Fires out to his wideout. A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. Good job here by the receiver to look the ball in and ensure he had possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. He's gobbled up in the backfield. I don't think the play developed the way it was supposed to, and the net result is a loss. From the six-yard line, it's second down. Tackle around the three-yard line. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. All the big boys are on the field now. Both teams have their big sets out there. He gets rid of this one. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. And he got it. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding him to a field goal right there. Louisville ready to kick this one off. He just drills this one. And they can forget about returning this one. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. They go with the run. Direction play gets maybe a yard at the most. No gain on the play. That'll bring up third and six. Watch two. Watch two. Watch two. The cavalry's coming. Throws in a hurry. Oh, great catch. And they push him out at the 48 yard line. scrambling and they got it. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. 
They're really getting after the quarterback now. That'll bring up second and 12. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on their own 46. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Throws to the tight end, and that ball is incomplete. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Three down, three down. Check 82. And he can't get away from the pressure. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. Here we go. Oh! Fourth and long here after the sack. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. He's tackled at the 16. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Louisville holds a field goal lead. Maybe three yards that time on the pass. You know, this veteran wide receiver is not always easy to stop. So that's a good job here by the defense to slow him down. It's second down, eight to go. Ball on the 19-yard line. Short pass, middle of the field. He's taken down around the 27-yard line. First down. Tight right, tight right. Four down, four down. Come on, you won eight. He wants it all. They'll bring him down around the 24-yard line. Boy, did he fire that baby down the field. There aren't too many quarterbacks in the country who can make that throw. And the ones that can are playing on Sundays. It's first down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air. Three down, three down. Yeah, check. Hey, Mike. Hey, no, no. Let's switch to Mike right here. Just throws this one away. And a quick throw. Tackle made at the 25. Taken back a yard. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. Third and 11. Ball on the 25. bring up fourth and long and we should be seeing the kicker here good stand by the defense to keep them out of the end zone on this drive Louisville is up a field goal the kick is up it's got the distance and he just drilled it from long range the kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off excellent kick And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. He's tackled at the 28, and the halfback carries for a pickup of three. And he throws it away. We played one. The Cardinals lead 6 0. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. Mike, two. Mike two. Mike two. Mike two. Mike two. 
He's in trouble. They bring him down. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. You just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. And that'll be three and out. It's away, and it's a booming punt. He gets out to about the 48-yard line. Every single time this offense has the ball, they're moving the football, but they're settling for field goals. And every time they settle for field goals, I've been watching the defense that they've been facing and watching how they run off the field to celebrate a job well done because they're not giving up touchdowns. That's a bad sign. Out of bounds at the 49-yard line. Second and eight, ball on the 49. Louisville with a six-point lead. Pulls it in, and he could score. And they finally knock him out at the 20. That's a gain of 31 on the play. That makes it first and 10. Now it's first and ten after the big pass play. Throws it into coverage and it's intercepted. And that was just an outstanding pick. Great play by the defender to high point the ball, but the quarterback wasn't in rhythm on the throw. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Brought down at the 22-yard line. They'll line up with five wide receivers. There's a fumble. Picks up the fumble. And down he goes at the 18. Wow, the receiver had a big play on his mind, and he forgot about securing the football. I'm sure he'll hear all about that in practice from his coaches and teammates. This group of receivers is a competitive bunch, and they don't let each other get away with mistakes like that. Lucky for him, the offense recovered at that time. Now it's third and nine coming up. Ball on the 18-yard line. Mike two, Mike two. Slings it. It's caught first down, and he's out of bounds. They'll spread the field with five wide. He's at midfield, and he hauls that one in. And he is drilled at the 46-yard line. Gets three on the carry. That's good for him. Three yards. That'll make it second to seven. Three down, three down. He's pushed out of bounds around the 39 yard line. They come out in a five wide set. positive yardage in the shotgun and five wide out throws it deep touchdown Kentucky they'll try to tack on the extra point that will take the lead 
and he tacks on the extra point. An eight-play, 83-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. An amazing drive for this offense. Outstanding execution. If you're the defense, you've got to do something to try to change things up and get this quarterback out of sight. The score now, 7-6. Kentucky to kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The offense will take the field, hoping for a better result than their last drive. One general rule in any game is to hold on to the ball. If you're in the negative in the turnover department, your chances of winning decrease exponentially. Just throws this one away. From their own 25-yard line, second down. Catches it, and he's looking for more. And they make the stop at the 32. Game of seven yards. Third down. Side right, side right. Four down, four down. Mike 40, Mike 40. Get down. Motion, 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 motion. Steps out of bounds at the 35-yard line. Well, the idea here was obviously not to try anything tricky or force the ball down the field. A simple throw, and they got the first down that they needed. Setting up play action, and he's tackled around the 41-yard line. Second and five, ball on their own 41. He tackles him hard at the 34. He's out of bounds at the 40. Booming kick. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Mike two, Kentucky, Mike two. up a point. Check, check, check. Disco Raver. Disco Raver. And he's taken down at the 28-yard line. Not a bad little play there. Yeah, this is a nice job by the quarterback reading the coverage and delivering a very catchable ball and allowing his receiver to come up with a nice game. Fires to his tight end. Nothing to it. So the officials taking a look at this play to see if the receiver got a foot in bounds. Regardless of the outcome of this review, I still think that this guy made an excellent catch. Well, I think he came down with it, but from up in the booth, it's hard to tell. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. Well, they get it right after the review. They call it a catch, and play will continue. Throw in left. Makes the catch, and he might take it down the sideline. Tackle at about the 19-yard line. I'm telling you right now, when you have that kind of speed, you are a real threat to go all the way. So that could have been even worse for this defense. Makes it to the eight. and they'll blow it dead. False start, start offense. offense. Just a mental lapse, but it's going to cost them five yards. Still, Still first, first down. down. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Throws oh, 
throws quickly, and it's almost intercepted. Yeah, the quarterback's breathing a huge sigh of relief because he got away with throwing what should have been an interception. Kentucky with a one-point lead. Let's go! And they'll get him in the backfield. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. And he just gets rid of it. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. They'll line it up for the field goal. The kick is up, and he's got it. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I think this defense has played well enough to be able to win this game, obviously. But at some point, you'd love to see their own offense feed off of some of the confidence that their defense is playing with because up to this point, the defense is keeping them in the game, but the offense isn't quite doing enough to be able to build on that lead. He's taken down at the 33. The quarterback and his receiver make a great play here and convert on an early down. So it's second down and about two yards to go. He's got it with room to run at the 30 to the 20. And he's finally knocked out of bounds at the 16. Call it a 41 yards. First down. And the big pickup through the air has made it first and 10. Let's see if they can put that last interception behind them and do something different this time in the red zone. He ran a good-looking route and picked up positive yardage. That he did, and he made a good catch. That short passing game is where you see all those hours in the summer that you put in pay off. And he's sacked. Throws complete. He's hammered. Great first half of action, and we're hoping for more of the same. 10-6, Kentucky. Boy, I hope the second half's as good as the first. Just about set to start the third quarter in a tight one. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. Kentucky is up by four. And that'll be a gain of ten by the running back. That'll make it second and inches. Caught with room to work. And they make the stop around the 43-yard line. That's some daylight. He's at the 40. Inside the 30. To the 10. He's all the way home. Touchdown. Great job here by the defender breaking on the ball and taking it to the house. Man, those pick sixes can really hurt an offense and have a lasting impact. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. And he adds the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. 
excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Brad, this has been a great game to watch. A lot of competitive spirit out there. The offenses seem to be going up and down the field. Back and forth we go. I think the winner will be which defense can make that pivotal stop to secure a victory. Let's see how the defense responds now, coming off that big play just a moment ago. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off of mistakes. Just a nice gain on second down. Got hit and still completed it. He gets hit out of bounds at the 43 yard line. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun, five wide receivers. And he's tackled around the 32-yard line. They'll line up with five wide receivers. He's looking for his man. Tackle made at the six-yard line. down and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Touchdown Wildcats. And he converts the extra point. like they're ready for the kick. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Kentucky's continuing to play extremely tough defense. This has been impressive. It's just been impressive to watch them play with such an attitude, almost a chip on their shoulder with the energy that they're playing with. And I think it's going to require that kind of effort to be able to win this game. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. That brings us second and nine. Second and nine. Ball on the 26-yard line. And he just gets rid of it. to that quickly at the 30 to the 20 and down he goes at the eight yard line Number 18. that makes it first and goal they're at the eight it's first down Mike 40, Mike 40, check, check, he's coming, he's coming. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Seven yards there on the option pitch to the halfback. Mike's 40, Mike's 40. 
Touchdown, Louisville! Trying to go up by three, they'll kick the extra point. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Louisville, kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Both these offenses stepping up and answering the bell. Who's going to blink first here? <laughs> exactly right. I've just been impressed with the way they've been able to execute. I mean, there's, there's a lot of pressure on them. Anytime you're feeling that the other offense can put points up on the board, there's a tendency to want to press. Either one, either one has done that up to this point, and right now it's going to come down to who can continue to execute and put points up. The quarterback did a really good job in the last drive of finding his receivers in space, and I bet he'll be looking to do the same thing again. And he's taken down at the 34-yard line. They come out in a five-wide set. Hands off up the middle and stuffed. Loss of three yards on the play. That'll bring up third and four. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Roger, Roger. Choose the mic. Hey, tight, tight. Hey, hey. He's tackled at the 34. The option keeper gets him two, maybe three yards. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. The Wildcats have really surprised everybody in this football game. They have not been intimidated at all, which is great to see. The attitude and effort of this team has put them in a position where they got a shot to win this game here in the second half. I was really impressed with their last series. They came out with a focus on the passing game, and the offense got the job done. We'll see if they have the same strategy here. Makes it to the 31. Gain of nine on the play. That brings up second and one. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Louisville has a three-point lead. Nice run up the middle. Man, it's always a plus if you're able to pick up the first down with the running game. First down. Four down, four down. Check mark 40, check mark 40. Tackled after decent pickup. From their own 42-yard line, second down. Four down, four down. Yeah, check. Hey, Mike. Hey, no, no. Mike right here. Yellow seven. Motion. Motion. Makes the grab, and he's got the first. He's taken down at the 43. First down. From the 43-yard line, first down. Scrambling around, brought down right around the 40. And that's it for quarter number three. Folks, we got a great game on our hands. Louisville's got a three-point lead. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Tackle at the 27. That's a game of 13. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 27. Louisville is up by three. 
needed that play, and he dropped it. The quarterback has to be very careful, Brad, of throwing the football into a position where the wide receiver has a chance to get his head taken off. He threw the ball there, and it made it easy for the defender to be able to separate him from the ball. He's going to try and scramble, and he's going to be sacked. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. So that sack will back them up a little now. They're looking at a difficult third and 13. Deep ball, laying it out there. And he's got it, going the other way now. What is he thinking? The quarterback has got to know at this time in the game, unless his man is wide open, that he should just throw it away. It's these kinds of mistakes that can cost you a game. He's out to the 30, makes it to the 34. And he throws it away. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 34. the corner Three, get him, get him. they'll bring him down at the 45 yard line here's the throw and I don't think he got anything on that That brings up second and nine. Easy, easy, easy. Lucky 95. Lucky 95. Gets to about the 44-yard line. No gain on the play. That'll make it third and nine. Here we go. Red 18. He's going to air it long. Can't pull it in. That'll bring up fourth and nine. Right now, he wants to get this kick away and change field position. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. And the offense will take the field, and they're certainly hoping to do better than they did on their last drive, which ended with a turnover. And I don't think this defense will lay down lightly. They're going to try to continue to rattle this guy. And he hits him hard at the 25. That brings him second and five. Second down and five. Ball on the 25-yard line. Louisville holds a field goal lead. Just gets rid of it. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. From their own 25-yard line. Third down. He's scrambling, and he's going to be sacked for a loss. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. And that's three and out. Nothing going on that series.
excellent punt. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. The Wildcats have got to be fired up how this game is going. They still got a chance to win. Well, you're talking about a huge underdog that's battled the entire game. They've got the football here to start this drive late with a chance to take the lead. You can't even imagine what this would do for this football team if they can put six points up on the board. Throws in the middle. That's a great tackle at the 46. Just under two to go in the game. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. About six yards on that completion. It's a decent pickup that time on a well-designed play. Gets it off as he's hit, complete, and they make the stop at the 40. Well, you know this defense is going to come after you. There's no doubt about that. And as an offense, you have to be prepared for that. And that play, they made them pay for blitzing. And he's tackled at the 36-yard line. Wow. If the basketball coach is watching, he might want to give this guy a call. That is excellent vertical. We've got a second and five. Ball on the 36-yard line. He's hit and taken down. Kentucky will take their second time out of the half. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. And he's immediately tackled. The spike will stop the clock. This is the ninth play of this drive. Fights forward to about the seven. Under a minute left in the game. And he's tackled right away. Spikes the ball. Big third and goal. Can the defense stop him? Touchdown, and that's going to give him the lead. The play There's clock's at zero. They took too much time. Delay of game. game. Offense. Kentucky is up by three. He splits the uprights with the extra point. up to kick and they might just kick it short and prevent a long return. He just drills this one. 
brought down at the 20-yard line. Louisville's coaches have got to be confident in the fact that they've got a star player in a tight situation. And there's nothing better than having a quarterback you have confidence in in these kind of situations. You know he's going to make the right read. He's going to give his receivers a chance to make a play on the ball. And they're going to have a really good chance of moving the ball down the field to have a shot to win this game. Intercepted, and I think I can hear the fat lady singing. It's an absolutely huge turnover for this defense. They couldn't have picked that off at a better time. Just a horrible decision by the quarterback trying to force that pass, especially at this point in the game. They'll bring him down at the 38. Louisville will take their first time out of the half. left and they got him behind the line. Louisville's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Tackle made at the 32-yard line. And the ball game's over and our final score in this one, 24-20 Wildcats. As we take a look at the highlights, Kurt, how would you summarize the action in this one? They've talked about the rivalry all week long, and for good reason. We saw the intensity down on the field every play, and it showed us why these teams love to hate each other. It'll be interesting to see how this game carries over the next time they play. Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. This is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.